icon of the theater district is now closing its doors. The West Bank Cafe and Lori Beachman Theater is shutting down after being in business for nearly 50 years. It was the very first restaurant and nightclub on Theater Row. It hosted thousands of artists over the years. The owners say that they can no longer afford to remain open amid the continuing fallout from the pandemic. They say they will close sometime in August. If you have ever wanted to dine at some of New York City's most popular restaurants, well, now is your chance. Reservations for Summer Restaurant Week are officially open. The week kicks off on Monday, July 22nd and runs through August 18th. More than eight, more than 600 restaurants across the five boroughs are offering special deals and discounts on dining, and you can make a reservation via Open Table. You're never more than seven minutes away from weather traffic. Let's go back to Sam now that active with a forecast. Sam. Hey, Mike Sherling. Good morning, everybody. So, do you guys do the restaurant week? Yeah, it's you, yeah. the month. We do too. <laughs> We do, too. I mean, I think it's a great time. It's a great way to get in there and get these menus on places that you might not normally want to lay out the cash for because mm -hmm. it's a good menu. You get to sample everything. Right. Plus, our city is so awesome right now, particularly today, over the next couple of days. Get out and enjoy it because we've dropped the heat already. We've dropped some humidity a little bit, and tomorrow we do even better. So we're laying out a couple of really nice days. If you're visiting, welcome. If you live here, you're welcome. Here's what's going on out there. Anywhere from 83 to 86 degrees as we go from 1 o'clock to about 3 o'clock this afternoon. This is just step one in the improvement. Now, we'll get to 86, I think, in many places for like a high temperature today. And it's not as muggy as it was yesterday, that's for sure. We don't have the storms that we had last night, but we step into a beautiful pattern as the final part of the cold front kicks out of the way and 84 degrees tomorrow. So it's good today. It's great tomorrow. Here's that line. We're getting those showers out of New York State in the next 30 30 minutes or so. This will clip from northern New Jersey all the way through the Hudson Valley, lower Hudson Valley. So Rockland, Westchester County is on into southern Fairfield County. A little quick sprinkle there over the next hour. But later on this afternoon, maybe we'll fire up a small one in particularly southern and eastern areas, but not a lot to talk about. Heather, what's going on? All right, let's talk about New Jersey transit trains because we have had issues all morning long. Heat-related equipment issues. Some trains may be canceled. And then you have New Jersey transit buses, a great alternate to the trains if you want to give that a whirl. Long Island Railroad, Metro North, running on or close to schedule. Harlem Overdrive South at 125th Street. We're hearing about an open manhole, but we also have an issue with that tractor trailer right over there. So we have Newscopter 7 up above, and we'll check in now with John Del Giorno. John. Good morning, Heather. You've got the RFK Trapper Bridge, Randall's Island there in the distance, and our problem is right down here on the Trapper itself. This is on the bridge as you head out of Queens towards Manhattan and the Bronx. You can see that stall tractor trailer. It's blocking the right center lane, and you can see tow trucks now just arriving. Not a big problem as far as a complicated one, but it's going to take a while to get this out of the way. Heather, the bumper-to-bumper -bumper volume begins already all the way back at LaGuardia Airport. All right, thank you for that. John, Route 120, both ways between Kipp Street and Commodore Road. That is a downed tree, and we have alternate side of the street parking rules in effect. Mike and Shirley, back to you. All right, thank you, guys. 642. Up next, Wall Street Journal reporter and New Jersey native Evan Gershkovich returns to court in Russia. Plus, we're going to tell you about a local couple, two residents at an assisted living facility, proving it's never too late to find love.